I'm not qualified to give dawah because I have a tattoo. Tell me this. What, 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 what do you define as qualification? Am I arrogant for recognizing that I can bring people value with the help of Allah? Not because I'm some special, but because I know that this is a gift that Allah gave me. Cut it out. Right? If you want to do that, brother, you come take the stuff, you do that. But don't force me to do something like that, right? I know who I am. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so grateful, thankful, and oh. <laughs> that you decided to spend some of your time here with me today. <coughs> oh my god, I need some water after that one. It's not every day that you get to put Ali Dawa. Ali freaking Dawa's name. What a fun name. Isn't that, isn't that such an awesome name, Ali Dawa? It's not every day that you get to put Ali Dawa's name in your title. And honestly, I feel fantastic about it because the lesson in this video is going to be absolutely incredible. I hope you guys are enjoying these non-cut videos. No cut, guys. Let me show you my room, by the way, how it looks. I woke up. This is my first night in Vegas. Uh, if you followed me from the Logan Paul video, then you know I'm in Vegas right now. Uh, I fixed my bed before starting this video just to be, even though it's a hot mess still because my wife doesn't approve of it. My wife wouldn't like the fact that I'm there. See, there's a bandaid over here because I've cut myself. You know, I'm wearing these, like, I put a little bandaid here. You know what I mean, I cut myself because I'm wearing these type of shoes with no socks on. So you know how that be, guys. That's the string from my Sindeed clothes. Sindeed clothes are quality clothes. All right. It's just that the string came out because I didn't I didn't wear it properly. My daughter actually pulls out my string sometimes. See, no cuts. Okay, let's put it here. Let's put it now. Are we back? Okay, let's put it now. All right, we're back. Not every day that you can put Ali Dawa's name in the video, you know? And um, it seems like I, I think I'm projecting that he's calling me out. And if he is calling me or any individual out, good for him. He, like, that's the right thing to do. Shouldn't we be checking our intention? We, we should be checking. Don't you think that's the right thing that he's saying? We should check our intentions. And yeah, I should check my intentions when I'm asking for the spotlight. I should, I should, that's, that's the right thing to do. Thank you, Ali. Right? A lot of you might think that, you know, uh, you know, the shaitan might come in between and try to cause enmity between us. Cause, no, by the way, let me show you my view. I just remember, I didn't show you my view, I'll show you my hotel. This is what uh, Vegas looks like. Look calm. Everyone's uh, recovering from a hangover. You know what I mean? So it's the cities are quiet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, in New York time, it would be 11. 11.10, 11, so it's 8.10 over here. Check it out. They have a magician over here. Look at this. They have a magician's face over here. All right? Why shouldn't there be? Why shouldn't Mohammed Hijab be performing over here and giving a debate? Come on now, that should be his face. Why should? Why can't it be Ali's face over here giving a debate or a talk? Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro sucks. Honestly, every time I listen to Ben Shapiro's stuff, it's just like, man, I, I always say this. Every time I listen to Ben Shapiro, uh, Yalla, guide him or just destroy him. Honestly, and I know some, uh, some of you might be like, oh, that's cute, that's a little harsh. But I'm sorry, if you listen to that dude, he's just toxic. Like, ugh. But I want to talk, I want to take this uh, video uh, opportunity, this video to talk about arrogance. I want to talk about that. And the, and the difference between arrogance and confidence and knowing the difference between them, you know? Let me grab my phone. I'm going to need it, right? You see, at least speaking about the right thing, it's about getting the right person for the job. And the messenger salsa was great at that. Here's how. You see, when we think of the adhan, who do you think of? Let me guess, Bilal, radiallahu an, right? Cool. That's who you should be thinking about because that's the most prominent person. But did you know that the Adhan wasn't like given in a dream to Bilal? Bilal was the best person for the job. So the messenger saw him picked Bilal because he had the best voice. The person who actually uh, had the dream of having the Adhan came to the messenger saw him. Tell me in the comment section below if you know his companion. I could easily Google it. But I think this is far more engaging to ask you guys. To do some research yourself because I could figure it out but maybe you don't know the story tell me in the comment section below if this is new to you the messenger saw some knew the best person in the job was Bilal and we have to be mindful of that the best person for the job should get the job simple that's the right thing to do right thing to say so this companion comes to the messenger saw some tells him about his dream the messenger saw some is like yeah that's great Bilal come here Imagine, imagine if their egos were so big, he would have been like, whoa, 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 time out, time out, time out. Ya Rasulullah, but you know, what about, you know, uh, uh, mind theft? What is that, intellectual theft? What about intellectual, like, no. These companions were so sincere that 
when they're like, all right, yeah, call Bilal radiallahu anhu. Bilal, he called him himself. You know what I mean? This is, this is the love that the companions had for each other. So never ever think that there would be a problem between me and Ali, me and Muhammad Hijab, me and... I love these people and maybe, maybe they don't love me. I don't know, but I can't control that. I can control how I feel towards them. And I, I absolutely love them from the bottom of my heart. And if, if Ali's watching this, I love you, bro. Allah bless you. Where's that documentary coming out? Stop playing with our emotions, right? Damn, come on now. Bismillah. Um, but yeah, you know, like the shaitan will try to put enmity between you and your brothers. Never allow that to happen. But I do want to talk about in this moment about arrogance and confidence and all that sort of stuff. Is it arrogant for Michael Jordan to want to take the last shot? I'm going there. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely going in that direction. Maybe you don't even watch basketball and you hate me right now, right? You're like, SQ, oh, come on. And SQ, are you comparing yourself to Jordan? No, I'm not. I'm comparing myself to a person who knows they got what it takes. I'm not someone who shies away from the moment. I'm not. And if you want me to be someone who's just like, uh, step aside. You know how like they do in the, in, in, in the stuff for, for Salah? Like, uh, you know, they, they're willing to give their first stuff spot to someone else. Yeah, you do that in the masjid, but would you do that in front of the Kaaba? Hell no, you wouldn't. Yeah, in your basic regular masjid, you tell no, no, uncle, aye, 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 nee, 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 for the first stuff. But would you ever do that in front of the Kaaba? Hell no, you wouldn't, because you know what's value. You know what's value. There's a time. There's a time to you know step down. There's a time to step up. You know. So the messenger also knew who was the best person for the job. He called the Bilal radiallahu an, and the rest is history, right? But. You know, for, uh, for anyone, for anyone to think that perhaps maybe, I, I'm, let me tell you what, something. This is how we knew it wasn't me. When Logan Paul said someone articulate, I'm not articulate. I'm just, just down to earth or whatever. I know it's Muhammad Hijab. I know, and I'm lobbying for me. I want it to be me. I wanted some halal clout. All right, I want some halal clout. All right, damn it. Halal clout. Not fame. Going on a stage to, to it's, it's, it's historic. It's, his, it's history being made. Do you not feel the vibe? It's history being made. And even if I don't go, right? The fact that Muhammad Hijab's going, that's history being made, bro. That's a big deal. You know, that's a big deal. But let me ask you a question. Would it be arrogant if Muhammad Hijab thought that it was him that he's talking about? When, because he said articulate for Muhammad Hijab to think, oh, he must be talking about me. Is that not arrogant? I'm not saying he is, but I'm just saying, right? Let's all assume the best of each other over here, right? But I'm going to be straight up with you. I'm keeping it to the face, no cuts. Straight to the face, no chase, no cuts, nothing. I'm telling you, I want to be on that show. And listen, let's not front over here. Logan Paul has mad bread. He could get us both on, right? Comment in this section. Get us both on, Logan. Stop playing games with us, right? But going back to the Michael Jordan example, right? Is Michael Jordan arrogant for wanting to take the last shot is he or is he arrogant if he was covered double triple teamed and there was a teammate who had an open look and he didn't pass it to him that's the difference you see people want to even give michael jordan a bad rep but no way he passed the ball when he knew he needed to he trusted his teammates he did michael jordan passed the ball to john paxson that's that famous shot that john paxson hits in the finals Right? Trying to bring it back to Chicago for a game six. Paxson, yes! John Paxson again! And the Bulls lead 105, 101. But we always think about Jordan, but we don't think about the supporting cast around him. Is it arrogant? Is it arrogant? Or was it that he wanted to win? I want Islam to win. Am I wrong for wanting to take the shot myself? Is it, is it wrong for me to want to step up and actually like, you know, Say that I can do this. Looking at the time, eight minutes, we're good. Alhamdulillah, we're good. You know what I mean? Is it arrogant for me? Maybe it is. Maybe it is to you guys that it's arrogant. But for me, it's confidence. I know what I can bring. I know what I can do. You know, don't be confused. Just because people get five times the views than me, five times the amount of views than me, doesn't mean they're five times better than me, guys. And if I thought like this, where would I ever be? I would have the most, the worst self-esteem issues, no confidence in myself. I wouldn't feel I'm good, da, 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 da. Is that how you want me to feel? Is that how we should be feeling? Is that how we should be miskeen? No, 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 brother, brother, you go. No, I know I'm good for the job. Let me go, let me do it. Get us both out there. Get Ali out there too. Get Smart and Jenna out there too. Get freaking everyone. Bring the crew, Logan. Bring the crew. We know you can afford it. Come on now, right? We all want to help. We all want to do the same exact thing, which is to spread Islam. So there's no beef between anyone whatsoever. I love Ali if he's watching this. Why would he watch this? I'm a small YouTuber. Why should anyone watch this? But you guys are probably going to share this with him. 
I love you guys. You guys are sneaky out there. I love you guys. Hope you guys are liking the hat. I know I was giving a lot of examples. Let me give you an example of Robert Ori for, for the Spurs, right? Let me give you an example for Robert Ori, right? Big shot Bob. You can't be afraid to take the big shots. I'm not afraid of messing up or taking the big shots. And I'd be, I'd be lying to you and to me if I thought that I wasn't uh, capable or qualified. I'd be lying to you. I believe I'm fully capable and qualified. I, I, can't, I can't take the back seat and just be like, you know, there are people better than me. There are people better than me. And for that, I should be stepping down. I feel like I did this recently. Where I can't remember exactly. I did this recently where there was someone like, I can't, I can't remember. I can't remember. If it comes to me during this video, I'll tell you, remember, there's no cuts. I could have easily cut this part out, but I need you to see my, my thinking process, right? I do, I do feel like I am one of the best people for a job. I do, right? And is that wrong? Is that really wrong? But check my comments. Go, well, I can lie, right? I can sit over here and lie to you, but my words don't lie. My actions match up every single time. Go over here. Uh, here. See, sometimes you got to think about where did the cars are these. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I think it's just smooth. No, go over here, right? Somewhere over here. There's a card being, uh, a card I'm going to link to the Logan Paul inviting podcast thing. Go to every comment. Read every comment, right? Anytime a person said Muhammad Hijab should go, guess what I said? You're right. He should go. But I should go too. Why am I wrong? I want to go too. I want to go too. All right? What the hell out clout? I want that. I want to be able to be on these stages as well and educate people about Islam. I think I'm fully qualified. Just because you haven't seen that doesn't make me not qualified. Oh, if someone wrote, don't get this joker on <laughs> the podcast. I agree with you. I agree with you. I am a joker. I am a clown. Who you knows? And like, we'll put a video just like this, exposing themselves in this way. Huh? Okay with their bed sheets being messed up. Okay with me, like, you know, like not cutting something and pausing and looking like a fool. I'm okay with that. I don't take myself that seriously. And neither should you. You could take yourself seriously, but maybe don't take me seriously. Don't. I, I, I invite you to not take me seriously. That's okay. Do you know how many people want to go study with the sole intention so people can take them serious? That was deep. You guys, that just went over people's heads. You, do you not understand that? There's so many people who enroll into school just so people to take them seriously. One of the people that we, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about on the day of judgment are those people, you know, uh, you know, the first people to get to tossed in the hellfire and all that sort of stuff, are people who sought knowledge just so people can say they have knowledge. Is that not status? Is that not qualifications? I'm not. What do you mean, SQ, you're not qualified? What does that mean? Do I, I like, because I don't have a degree? In it because I didn't study in Medina. Does that so? If a person does have a degree or study in Medina, that makes them qualified to give dawah. I'm not qualified to give dawah because I have a tattoo. Tell me this. What 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 do you define as qualification? What do you define? I know who I am. I know the amount of value I can bring to people. How I can spark conversations with people. How I can get along with people. Am I arrogant for recognizing my own gifts? Am I arrogant for recognizing my own strengths? Does that make me arrogant? Because I know I'm really, really good at talking to people. Is that, that's the problem. A lot of you guys don't know your gifts out there. This is my gift. This is why Allah, this is why Allah put me on this earth. Am I arrogant for acknowledging why Allah wants me here? Yeah, it's obviously to worship Him. Come on, don't. <laughs> don't give me that. Where's my water? Bismillah. Take a breath, SQ. Relax. Am I arrogant for recognizing my own gifts, my own purpose? Does that make me arrogant? You know what I mean? Does it? I don't know. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. I could, I could, let me hit up, I have to hit up Dr. Brock about this. The point is this. I love everyone. I love everyone. And whether I get to go or not, I'm going to win. You know why? Because even if Muhammad Hijab goes on the show all by himself, your boy SQ is still going to make a 40-minute reaction video to it. Okay? So I'm going to win either way. Right? So, so don't stress about it too much. Don't ever think anything negatively of any other people. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, that's not who I am. And whether Ali is talking about me with intention or not, if, if he is, that reminder is for me. I shouldn't think I want fame and this and that. I shouldn't. That's true. And I am checking myself. So, Jazakal Khair, Ali, for post, posting that tweet to get me in line and get yourself in line and get everyone else in line. You know what I mean? But it's okay for you to recognize your own gifts. It's okay for you to be confident within yourself. Don't confuse arrogance and confidence. Don't. Don't. Don't confuse pride 
and confidence. Don't confuse those two things. The Messenger Salaam explains what pride was. He explained what arrogance was. It's when the truth comes to you and you reject it. That was one of the two qualities. What what truth? If if there's a I'm not gonna recite, I'm not gonna sit over here and recite Quran. I'm not making the sheet videos. I'm not making Quran videos like recitation. I know my limits. I know who I am. I know how, how good I am at certain things. You know what I mean? I'm, I, I know where my areas of fault are. And I'm trying to work on those things. But you're never going to see me trying to make like a spoken word video. Why? Because I'm not there. I'm not there. I don't rap. I don't, I don't have, I'm not good with words. That's why I don't do that. I don't make nasheeds. I don't have an Omar Isa voice. I would have done that. You know what I mean? Everyone has to know their limits. But if all of a sudden you started seeing me getting on auto tune, I might even do that just to piss you guys off and annoy you, right? If you saw me get on auto tune just to do that sort of stuff, then I'm stepping out of the lane that Allah has put me in. This is my lane. This is dawah, right? This is this is this is dawah. You know, and if I started thinking that other people, because they have more numbers than me, because they have they're more articulate than me in speaking, or whatever, where would my confidence go? Where like where, where would my self esteem go? I'd be, no guys, I can't. No, 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 no. There's better people to do. There are better people to do it. They are. If if you're talking about. If you're talking about when it comes to philosophy and these these tough, difficult topics, Muhammad Hijab is the best. Is that I'm, I have a video coming out. I didn't drop it yet because this is going to go upload right now. I have a video coming out when with my uh, Las Vegas tour. Listen, I came to Vegas so you don't have to. That's going to be the title of the video, inshallah. And then after that, I, I'm doing something in my room. Uh, and I speak about Muhammad Hijab. Like I, I love Muhammad Hijab. Right? Like I, I know my limitation. Is there anyone more articulate? I don't think so. I think Muhammad Hijab is one of the best. One of the best, Zishan from Smile to Jannah hit me up when I told him that, yeah, I'm making a Logan Paul video too. And he said to me, quote, quote, I have the screenshot. I'm not going to show you the screenshot because you should believe me, right? Um, that he's excited to see, to see me, uh, to see this video from me. Why? Because he's never seen me talk about topics like this. Philosophy and, you know, theology. He hasn't seen the topics. That's true. I don't post about this. I post things like this. A 16-minute video about rambling. <laughs> and using Ali Dawa for clout. SQU clout chaser! I am a halal clout chaser, right? Do I want people to uh, watch my channel more? Yeah, I do. I'd be lying to you. What, what do you want me to do? This says, keep it at 100. You think it's just words? I mean it. I do want people to watch. I know I can bring people value. Am I arrogant for recognizing that I can bring people value with the help of Allah? Not because I'm some special, but because I know that this is a gift that Allah gave me? Cut it out. Right? If you want to do that, brother, you come take the stuff, you do that. But don't force me to do something like that, right? I know who I am. I know what, 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 what I can bring to the table, and this is what I bring. A super down-to-earth, clear, concise way of explaining Islam to people, to help people uh, develop and discover their Islamic identities. That's my goal. That's what I want to do, and that's what I'm doing. So if you're upset at me doing that, I think you should check yourself in your heart and ask yourself, why don't you want me to go on the podcast? Right? Why, why don't you want me to? Why, why are you trying to trying to hold me back you think i can't do it well let me decide that right you already know this was a long video but i you know i'm enjoying these videos a lot more i'm enjoying these videos a lot but i feel like i'm really really like speaking to the camera now uh, i hope you guys are enjoying them as well i love you all for the sake of allah if somehow i i mean this if somehow you're not subscribed to my channel and you're just a ghost follower and just watching it as a ghost and not so I don't get that's okay too may Allah bless you I pray I'm a, I'm a traveler right now it's the beautiful month of Dhul Hijjah I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you all with the highest levels of paradise and unite us in paradise you, you know all the four, five, six, seven people who watch my video do you know how bad I want to meet you guys I absolutely adore you thank you spending your time here with me today when i say that in the beginning of the intro you know like you know i'm so grateful thankful and humbled i mean that i i genuinely mean that those of you i know there's so many of you who don't even comment like regularly but when it comes like or for any else's stuff but for my stuff you will comment do you know how much that means to me honestly do you know how much that means to me a lot I love you all for the sake of Allah. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing though. And if you would like to spend a little bit more time with me, it would mean a lot to me if you clicked any of these videos right here. Uh, one is for my most recent video. I don't know what order they're going to be in. One is a best for viewer video. Inst uh, Instagram channel. Um, YouTube is suggesting a video that you guys would like. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about everything like that. I love you, Ali. In case you're watching this, don't ever let the shaitan put enmity between you and me or hijab or zishan or anyone. Or, bro, anyone. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out.